Okay. So, in this video today, just wanted to go over this um, battery power bank that I built. Um, and uh, if simply buying your own power bank is too easy and you'd like to spend more time and effort in creating your own for approximately the same price, but just for more headache, well, then a do-it-yourself uh, power bank might be just the thing for you. Um, so in this one, I'm using the um, MC34063 um, voltage regulator, and it's uh, bringing this three cell lithium ion, um, all the cells are in uh, parallel um, pack from about what 3.7 volts to the uh, 5 volt USB output here. And then uh, on this other side right here, there's a Torex battery charging um, controller chip here under kind of this rat's nest. And um, we're charging the uh, battery pack um, through this micro USB port here. Um, and also another note, um, if you don't have uh, a nice enclosure to use, you'll, you'll have to look for different enclosures. I just use this uh, Dyson uh, battery pack for like a vacuum cleaner or something like that. So that's the hard part, finding an enclosure. You know, if, if you have access to a 3D printer, that might be a nice thing. And also, I used a Dremel. Probably be nice to uh, be pretty talented with a Dremel. I'm apparently not. Um, so then we have the regulating circuit and the battery charging circuit, too, kind of the, the essential circuits you'll need for a power bank. Also, a battery protection circuit would be nice, but in this case, with this chip, um, once the voltage drops enough in the battery pack, um, the 5 volt output will actually drop enough to where it won't charge your uh, 5 volt USB device. So um, this will happen before the battery charge or the battery depletes far enough, at least in this circuit right here. So then we have the on light and the charging light. The charging light will go off when the uh, battery's uh, finished charging. So I guess I'll just pop it together quick, show what the finished product looks like. Um, switch goes here, and this just completely isolates the uh, battery from the whole circuit in case it would be, in case it could drain it in some in some way, which you don't want. So then, I just made these detachable, but and I'll put I'll put a, maybe a few pictures of how the guts of this turned out. I used a resistor. Uh, voltage divider here here on the data pins for the output so you know Apple devices are kind of squirrely they don't they don't like to be simple so you need to use that to charge your Apple device so this would just pop on I won't put it back on since um, it's kind of a pain and need to cut some lead holes for it but Basic, basically uh, all you need to create your own uh, power bank. So, thanks for watching.